Hello everyone, this video is going to be about how to calculate the area of a polygon in FME Desktop. The version I'm currently using for this tutorial is 20.1. So to start off, you're going to need spatial data containing polygons. I've already imported a shapefile which contains boundaries of the city of Toronto. If we inspect the data, you will see six separate district polygons. Now, before we calculate the area, it's important for us to understand what coordinate system our data is in. We should be using a local projected coordinate system in order to get the most accurate area calculation for your specific polygon. So in my case, the data is in LLWGS84, which means the data is currently in a World Geodetic System 1984, which is an unprojected coordinate system. So to start our workflow, we are going to reproject our data into a local coordinate system using the Reprojector Transformer. Now if you're a hotshot geographer, you probably have your local coordinate system memorized. But for the rest of us, there's an easy way to find the right coordinate system to use for this calculation in FME. We'll set the source coordinate system to be read from feature and set the destination coordinate system to underscore AZMEA underscore, which will dynamically reproject to a local equal area projection. Equal area projections preserve area well, so they are well suited for area calculations. Now, in order to calculate the area of a polygon, we will use the Area Calculator Transformer. So this transformer will calculate the area in whatever square map units your dataset's coordinate system is in. Now if you're ever in doubt what map units the area measurement will be returned in, if you open up the Reprojector Transformer and go to the Coordinate System Gallery, at the very end it will tell us what units the projection is in. So back to the Area Calculator Transformer, I'm going to leave the type as Plane Area since it's a 2D feature. I will leave the area attribute to be called underscore area. Now if we set the multiplier depending on what area unit we want to display our area calculation in. So in my case I want to display it in kilometer square so I'm going to add six decimal places to my multiplier. Alright so now if we run it we'll now have the area in kilometer square for each polygon. Now let's say you told me you wanted to calculate the sum of all the polygons in FME. I would tell you you're asking too much. No, just kidding. This can be achieved by adding the statistics calculator and checking the sum. We will have the area aggregated in the sum report. The complete port will have six features still, and the area of the total six polygons will be in the underscore area dot sum column. This might be helpful if you're trying to calculate a percent of area coverage. We can add an attribute rounder transformer if we wanted to round to the nearest decimal. In my case, I'm going to round to two decimals. Now there is a custom transformer in FME Hub that will take care of most of the area calculation steps I mentioned. This transformer is the Geographic Area Calculator Custom Transformer. It will take care of the reprojection and the area unit conversion. So all we have to do is put in the area unit we want and we are good to go. If we simply hook the output port of the geographic area calculator to our statistics calculator transformer, we will get the same result without having to use the reprojector and the area calculator transformer. If we want to save these results, we can write it to a file that supports area polygons like a shapefile. We can also write it to a CSV if we only care about the area. So we went through two different methods to calculate area polygons in FME Desktop that handles reprojecting data. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on my next one. See you next time.